Yo what's up guys it's Aptex here today in this video I'll be showing you guys how to easily spoof Pokemon Go on your mobile phone without needing to use an actual PC we just have to simply use an app from Play Store it is known as Tenorshare iAnyGo now this app from Play Store lets you directly spoof GPS location of Pokemon Go and play it from your home without needing to go outside I'll be showing you guys how it actually works and thanks to Tenorshare for sponsoring this video you can even customize movement route you can enable joystick controls and lot of other features are also provided the next step is to open it. Afterwards, you just have to tap on agree. Now it will say please turn on developer options in settings. Select the mock GPS location app as iAnyGo. For that, you just have to go ahead and tap on open settings. I have already unlocked developer options as you see right here. Once you open it, you just have to scroll down to the end where you see an option known as select mock location app. You just have to go ahead and tap on it and right here you will be able to see iAnyGo fake GPS. Make sure that it has been selected as it says mock location app iAnyGo. Once that has been done, we can head back to iAnyGo. Afterwards, we just have to provide it some permissions. Right here as you guys can see, our iAnyGo has been successfully set up and now we can easily start spoofing GPS location but note guys, this should be only used for educational entertainment and privacy reasons the next step is going to be to tap on this joystick icon just go ahead and tap on yes afterwards it will ask you to provide you the permission for overlay you just have to go ahead and tap on open settings once you find the iAnyGo app just enable display over other apps and you should be done all right guys the next step is to now open pokemon go and finally try out iAnyGo with the joystick open as you see right here but there we go guys our game has successfully started now if i just go ahead and hold my joystick you will immediately see that our character will start walking towards the right side but as you saw the walking speed was pretty slow so to fix that we can just head back to iAnyGo app in its bottom section you will be able to customize the speed which is a really great feature so you can go all the way from 1 km per hour to 30 km per hour which is the maximum speed bike pace as well as car pace now I recommend you guys to set and walking pace similar to this go back to Pokemon Go and now if we just go ahead and try the joystick mode you'll be able to see that our character is walking much faster now than before that's the main reason why iAnyGo is really amazing you get to modify the speed of your joystick control as well let me show you guys its teleportation feature so if you just go ahead and tap on any location where you'd like to go it will tell you the coordinates and distance now if I just go ahead and tap on this GPS icon it will say successfully modified let's reopen pokemon go and immediately you'll be able to see our location has been changed furthermore you get options such as single spot movement as well as multi spot movement so let me show you how it works so let's tap on the single spot movement afterwards we'll need to select any point just tap on single spot movement again and it will automatically start moving your character it will give you an estimated time it will take according to the speed which you set to reach that destination so now if we open pokemon go you will be able to see that our character is moving towards the destination and we are able to play pokemon go while being inside house which is pretty easy let's just go ahead and go back to iAnyGo just tap on the pause button if you want to pause your movement then go back to pokemon go and let's say you encounter a wild pokemon you can pause the movement catch the pokemon and that's how simple it is you can stop the movement by tapping on the stop button then tap on yes Afterwards now we'll choose the multi spot movement. We'll also increase our speed to 17 km per hour. Now we'll have to select multiple spot which we would like to visit. We are customizing the route through which our character walks. This is possible with the help of multi spot movement and here I'll just go ahead and tap on start moving. It will give me an estimated time which our character will take to reach the destination. All these amazing features which you are seeing were only limited to PC before but now you don't even need to have an PC. You can do all of that with the help of iAnyGo. Now let me show you guys some of its other features. So at the top you'll be able to see and search bar so if you just go ahead and tap on it and search for any location where you'd like to teleport to just go ahead and tap here then tap on this gps icon and there we go so you can literally search for any location in this entire world where you'd like to visit and play pokemon go in just a single tap you will be redirected to that location as you see right here and again joystick controls will be always present as we have enabled overlay now you can also customize joystick by resizing it to whatever size you want so if you want a big joystick you can do that too and to stop the joystick control we can just tap on the cross button and there it goes furthermore you also get historical records option which means that all the movements will be stored so you can always visit your old place by tapping on the gps icon and there we go route has been set we can tap on start moving that's how simple it is for those of you guys who have iphone tenorshare has also got you covered it has released its iAnyGo app even 
even for iOS devices which is pretty amazing. I'll put this official page in my description box below and thanks again to Tenorshare for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out this tool. Honestly speaking, it is the best location spoofing tool for Pokemon Go. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.